What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Mommy So True. I hope you're doing fantastic today. Today is a good, good, good Friday. And we are going to talk about the power of you walking away. The power of you walking away. I'm excited as F. I'm going to try not to cuss. I'm going to try not to cuss. I'm excited as F on this Friday. Because I woke up and I'm just like, yo, I walked away. And so many people have also walked away. And so many more people are starting to walk away. There is so much power in walking away. So let's talk about it. Welcome to my channel, y'all. What's up? How you doing? I hope you slept well last night. If you didn't, you're going to sleep good today because you're going to go through today remembering the power of you walking away. And if you're one of those people struggling with someone that's narcissistic and you're stuck in the relationship, you feel stuck. I don't think anyone's ever stuck. You can feel stuck, but you're never stuck because you have the power to make decisions in your life and for your life. So you're not stuck. There's always a way there's always a solution there's always a way around it if you need to figure it out reach out to me i'm a life coach and i'm here to help coach you through this okay send me an email or book a session the link is in the description so you guys we have the power to walk away if you're struggling with that today's message is going to help you so much because you need to recognize the strength within you this abuse will really keep you so blind to how strong you really are these people have made you feel like you ain't worth nothing they made you feel like you're not good enough narcissistic abuse just makes us feel like we just are not good enough bottom line message of dealing with being abused by narcissists and being around people with narcissistic tendencies that drive you crazy when we when we talk about relationships Relationships should be positive. They should be healthy. A lot of us dedicated ourselves to a relationship that beat us down mentally, physically, emotionally. Like, I mean, on every level beat you down, almost took you out. And it was completely unhealthy. The situation was completely unhealthy. And you know that in a healthy relationship, it should be loving and fulfilling. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect, but it should feel like it. You should feel like the man that you're in love with loves you right back and vice versa. Y'all should be treating each other like royalty, waking up loving on each other. That is love. That is romance. That is a healthy relationship. It does exist. But when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, there is nothing healthy about it. The only struggles you should have in your relationship is the struggle of staying together and getting goals achieved and accomplished. Goals that both of you have set, whether together or individually, so y'all can go where y'all are trying to go in y'all's life. That should be the only struggle in a relationship. It should not just be one person fighting. It should not just be one person being heard or one person listening. And fighting for a relationship does not mean sticking around for abuse. Fighting for a relationship does not mean that you know you're unhappy, but you're staying because you're trying to be loyal. You know it's not good for you. It's killing you, literally. You done lost all this weight or even gained a lot of weight trying to eat the depression away dealing with this relationship knowing it's just it's killing you on the inside out i mean dang how many how many more insults do you need to hear how much more do you need to be humiliated by this person embarrassed in public and all of that to see that they are unhealthy for you being in a relationship with a narcissist you gonna spend every day working as a trauma nurse you are constantly trying to resist <clears throat> trying to keep the relationship alive because it's always a cardiac arrest every time something go crazy you gonna you gonna have to try to be the one to be the the grown-up in the situation 
you know, try to CPR the situation, CPR the man or the woman, you know, try to try to bounce things back, put them on this IV, get the right medication, keep checking up on them. You a whole 24 hour nurse in the trauma unit, but you a wounded trauma nurse because you wounded as hell dealing with this narcissist. Not only are you attending to their wounds <laughs> and the wounds of your relationship, you're attending to your wounds. This person literally shoots you down every moment they get. But y'all, when a good man or a good woman has the power to walk away, it shows that they actually really loved themselves. They actually have this inner love that this person had tried to keep them from embracing all this time. But then they woke up one day and they said, you know what? I'm tired of this I'm tired of neglecting myself for this for this freaking monkey for this freaking duck for this freaking person who swore up and down that I was their 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 person what walking away from this person in this situation after this person has hurt you the way that they hurt you <laughs> After you love them the way that you love them. This don't do nothing but expose the self-love within you. You better pay attention to it. You are a survivor. As much as the narcissist attacked your spirit on a daily basis. They could not destroy it. Because you took the power and you walked away because your spirit said I'm tired. Enough is enough. I'm not doing it no more. Mom and dad, I'm not doing it no more. I love this family. I'm going to miss y'all, but I'm not doing it no more. I have power and I am walking away from the abuse. I'm walking away from being a victim. I am not doing it no more. You got into a new relationship. The person exposed themselves with narcissistic traits, whether they are a narcissist or not. You walked away. You took your power and you said, you know what? I have self-respect. I am not doing it no more. The power of walking away, y'all. It makes you so intimidating. It makes you intimidating. I had to realize that anyone who ever takes me as an intimidation, who cannot stand my strength, is because they see that I have so much ammunition to walk away from anything that just does not fit my life. I've always been like that, and I will always be like that. And a lot of people are intimidated by that. A lot of people are intimidated by people who know how to cut off people and cut off things that are not good for their life, for their peace, for their way of thinking, their beliefs. Anything that get in the way of my standards, I cut it off. I proudly cut it off. I've always been like that. I've always been like that. And it took for me to go through a narcissist.